Hello Internet! I am RD Lady and this is a new tutorial on 3D animation. In the last tutorial, I have shown you how to export animations from 3DX Max to a video file in AVI format. This may be useful for when you want to create your own animation movies or if you want to create a cutscene for a video game that you are developing. But I did not show you how to export these animations so they can be imported to a game engine like Unity or Unreal Engine. So you can use these animations to develop your own game. If you want to import these animations in a game engine, you need to do a different kind of export. And this is what I'm going to teach you in this tutorial. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to export these animations. And I will be using the Unreal Engine as an import example in this video. And first, I will be showing you how to solve a problem that is very common to happen when importing animations in game engines. Especially if you build your animations over a 3D model that was extracted from a video game using Ninja Reaper. We're gonna see this type of problem here that I'm showing in the screen right now. Our model will look very weird. It looks like that the textures were not applied correctly. It feels like the textures are showing uh, inside the model and they are transparent outside. So we see like the internal parts of the model and the external part is transparent. So it, it looks like the textures were not applied correctly. And this problem happens exactly because the faces of our 3D model or the faces of our 3D mesh are inverted. Their surface face is pointing to the inside of our model and the back of these faces are pointing to the outside of the model. So we have to flip all these faces. And how we do that? So first we have to select our 3D model and go to the modifiers here in the modifier tab, we're gonna click on the editable mesh modifier. And inside this modifier, we're gonna click here in element. We click here in element because we have to select all the elements in our 3D model first. So then after selecting all these elements, after selecting all these faces, we can invert it. So I'm gonna click in element and select all the faces of our 3D model by typing Ctrl and A at the same time. After selecting all the faces in your model, then we can go to the normal window and we're gonna click in flip. So this flip normal process will invert all the faces of our model. It will turn the faces in 180 degrees. So the faces that were pointing to the inside of our model now will be pointing to the outside of our model. And when we apply textures to our model, these textures will be pointing to the outside and they will be correctly applied to our model. So this process will solve the problem that I have shown you when the textures seem to be not applied correctly. So now that we solve this problem, we can finally export our 3D model and animation using the correct settings to import in our game engine. So to export our animation, we have to go to the export menu of 3ds Max. And the first thing we're going to do is to select what format we want to export these files. So we have to select the FBX format, which is the format supported by most of the game engines. And then we can write down any name for our output file. This will be the name of the file that we will import in our game engine. And here comes a very critical part of our export. We need to choose the correct settings so our model and animation will be exported completely and correctly. If we don't use this option, some problems may happen when we are importing our animation. Sometimes the 3D model may not show up, uh, the animation may have a lot of fluctuations in the position of our character. The animation may not be imported correctly or it may not be imported at all. And many other types of problems may happen. 
So the first option I will enable here is the smoothing groups. This will try to smooth our animation. The second option is a turbo smooth. This will try to amplify this smoothing so the 3D model and the 3D animation will look even better in our game engine. The next option is convert the forming dummies into bones. This will make our biped skeleton to be converted into bones so it can be recognized by our game engine. The next option is to preserve edge orientation. So it will try to preserve all the edges in our 3D model and our animation. So it will look as similar as possible to the animation that we developed in 3ds Max. And here in the animation window, we have to enable the animation. If we don't enable this option, our animation will not be exported only the 3D model will be exported. So it's a very critical option. And after that, we have to click in Bake Animation. This will make the 3ds Max export all the frames in our animation. And here we have to select which range of frames will be exported. In my case, I want to export the complete animation that corresponds to 65 frames. So I will export from frame 0 to frame 65. And finally, I just click here to export. And now we can finally go to our game engine and import our animation. As an example here, I'm gonna show you how to import animations using Unreal Engine. Because this is the game engine app that I have been using more frequently. So here I'm opening the Unreal Engine and I will create a new empty project. And I'm gonna click here in the import button. So here we can select our FBX file that we just exported from 3ds Max. And we're gonna import it here. And here are some critical import options. So first I have to enable the 3D Mesh import and Skeleton import. By enabling the Import Mesh and Import Skeleton options. And here I'm gonna enable the import animation option. Only by enabling this option we're gonna be able to import our 3D animation from the FBX file that we exported from 3ds Max. As animation length, I will select the same length as the exported animation time. Here I will not select any skeleton from our original assets because I want to import the skeleton that comes with the FBX file that we exported from 3ds Max. So just leave this option as none. So these are the most critical options to be enabled when importing animations in a game engine. And now all we have to do is to click in import all. So as you can see here, the Unreal Engine imported our 3D Mesh, our 3D Animation, our 3D Skeleton and our Model Texture. All these elements were imported as new assets in our game engine. So now that we have imported our FBX file, let's see how our 3D Animation looks like. So as you can see, the animation looks very similar to the one that we developed in 3ds Max, as loyal as possible to the original animation. And the textures seem to be applied correctly as well. So using all the export settings and import settings that I have shown you, we can transfer our animations from 3ds Max to Unreal Engine with the minimum problems as possible. And just checking here our 3D model or our 3D mesh, it looks like our 3D model had the textures applied correctly as well. If you don't know how to create a biped skeleton, how to attach this skeleton to the 3D model and how to make an animation, please check out other videos that I post in this channel because I teach all these steps in the videos that I have posted before in this channel. If this tutorial was useful for you, please don't forget to like this video and don't forget to subscribe to this channel to receive new tutorials. See you next time, bye bye!